Hi, I'm Eric with the World of Wet Pets Tropical Fish in Portland, Oregon, and I'm here to demonstrate how to raise the pH in an aquarium. The aquarium pH is directly related to carbonate hardness levels in the aquarium. The carbonate hardness is the buffer that helps hold the pH up. If you're having a pH problem or your pH is, is dropping regularly, you probably have a low to non-existent carbonate hardness level. Once you've determined what your pH value is using any number of kits, dip strips, liquid tests, whatever you're comfortable with, then it's a good idea to determine also your carbonate hardness level. Our favorite way of, of dealing with pH issues is to use something like alkaline buffer, which is a calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate buffer. It will raise pH, but it will also raise the carbonate hardness. Liquid pH buffers, such as pH up and the like, are kind of temporary fixes. They tend not to address the problem of the carbonate hardness levels. Baking soda, also not a, a terribly good pH solution. It's a temporary solution. It's a sodium bicarbonate. Otherwise, shell and coral material, in this case crushed coral, can be used in bags in filtration. Uh, crushed coral will help with buffering the calcium carbonate levels as well as the pH. The problems with using crushed coral, uh, you can't really control what it's going to do, so you have to be very careful not to add too much. As always, when dealing with pH issues, it's very, very important not to raise pH too far too fast. You generally don't want to go more than about half a degree any, uh, in any 12 to 24 hour period. So if you have a long way to raise your pH, try to do it over a period of days.